Toy Pursuit. Let's go. Imagine X Poison Ivy and Nightwing have a date night. Okay, sweetie. Have a good time, and we will see you tomorrow afternoon. We love you. Bye. How is Vincent doing? Did he get to Nathan's house okay after school? Yes, Vincent is just fine. He said that Nathan got a guitar too, so they are going to practice for a little while. Okay, cool. So we actually do have the entire night to ourselves. Yes, just you and me. We can have a date night together. Heh <laughs> heh, yep. But you forgot, you have to ask me first. Oh, oh yeah. Ivy, would you like to go on a date with me tonight? Why, certainly, handsome. So, what do you want to do? Well, how about... Nightwing, I need your help. The Joker is on the loose again. Um, I would like to, Batman, but this is really bad timing. Ivy and I were about to have a date night together. This shouldn't take too long. I just need your help so I can corner the Joker and capture him. Well, can't you find anyone else like the Flash or Superman to help? I tried, but they are both out of town. All right, I guess I can help for a little while. Um, uh, sorry, Ivy, but there might be a little delay on the start of our date night. Uh, I promise I'll be right back, though. Okay, darling, hurry back. I'll be waiting for you, but don't keep me waiting very long, hmm? Okay, it'll be just about an hour at the most, I promise. This is the life of being in a relationship with a superhero, I guess. Okay, Ivy, I'm back. Sorry it took a little longer than I thought. Are you ready to go on our date now? Ivy, it's me. I'm back. Ivy? Okay, okay, I'm up. I just got tired from waiting so long and took a nap. I know. I'm sorry. Things took longer than I thought it would. We can still go out and get a bite to eat. Would you like to? But it's late. There won't be many places open now. I didn't know you would be gone so long. Um, so have I ever told you how pretty you are? Not yet today you haven't, so you are behind on schedule. Heh <laughs> heh. Well, you are very pretty and also very understanding. Yeah, yeah. So where are you taking me to eat at this late hour? Oh, uh, I know a place that is open late. It's not the most gourmet place in the world, but hey, it's food. All right, I'll go freshen up my makeup and then we can go. Well, here's the dining experience for tonight. What do you think, Ivy? Um, what is this place? Oh, this is Jim's food truck. He has great burgers and fries. 
This is the first date night we've had in weeks, and this is where you take me? <laughs> yep, isn't it great? Um, I'll get back to you on that, huh? <laughs> Hiya guys, what can I get you tonight? Um, yeah, give us two burger and fries combos. Okay, sure, two burger combos coming right up. Okay, great, thanks. Wow, check this out, Ivy. Junk food. Heh <laughs> heh, yep. Hey, you got more fries than me. Where else could you get some great greasy food just like this? You were right. This is definitely not gourmet food. Uh, oh yeah. We'll save a nice and fancy dinner for one of the next date nights, okay? Okay. Can I get that in writing? Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm stuffed. How about you, Ivy? Me too. Um, I have to admit, it was pretty good. Okay, that's good. I'm glad you liked it, because being this late at night, we didn't have very many options. See there? You have burger breath, and I still gave you a kiss. That's real love. <laughs> Aw, come here, you. Hope you guys have a good night. Come again. Okay, well, I guess we can head back to the house now for some quality time. Heh <laughs> okay. What's going on? What happened to the car? Oh, uh, <laughs> um, I think that I kind of forgot to fill it up with gas earlier. Oops. What? So now what are we supposed to do? We are stranded out here, and it's getting very late. Well, um, the city is not that far back there. I guess I could walk back and get some gas for the car. Walk and leave me out here by myself? I don't think so. Oh, so you like having me around to protect you, huh? You like the macho type guys. Well, maybe, but right now I like a guy who remembers to put gas in the car before he goes on an important date. <laughs> well, look at it this way. These are the kinds of things that happen and make the evening so much more memorable, right? If you say so, hey, you didn't plan this on purpose, did you? Oh, uh, not me. I wouldn't do something like that. Uh, by the way, do you remember this place? This is where we had our first date and started out together. Oh yes, I remember. You were trying very hard to be charming. Hey, I have natural charm and you couldn't resist. Just admit it. Uh-huh, just keep telling yourself that. So, really, what are we supposed to do out here? Well, I still do have the key to this place, so we could go inside and sit in the balcony together. That's how we spent our first night together. Yep, and we both fell asleep there. I remember it very well. You were snoring like crazy. I don't snore, thank you very much. Yeah, right, and it was so loud, I have no idea how you didn't wake yourself up. <laughs> what do you say we spend the night here together just like we did on our first date? What? Are you serious? Sure, and in the morning when it's more light out, I can walk and get gas for the car and we can get back home. 
Well, this is looking like it may be our only option, so I guess we can. So, let me see here. First, you stand me up for a few hours, then you take me to a burger joint to eat, and then we end up stranded and having to sleep in a balcony. Well, you left out the part where I said how pretty you look and also how understanding you are. Uh-huh. Well, you better start planning right now, mister, for our next date night because I'm expecting something very nice. I think all that I can ever guarantee is that it will always be interesting. Keep a lookout for new episodes or subscribe and you won't miss anything. This is an ongoing series of videos, so if you have missed some of the previous episodes, go back and check those out to catch up on the storyline. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye!